All right, so we're welcoming you back. Mayor Nancy Vaughn is here answering your questions. And so the first question that we have is about pallet homes. Mm -hmm. They said you put up pallet homes in the winter to help the homeless. So what are you doing now? So the pallet homes will be put back up again. I think they were an unqualified success. The Department of Insurance only allows them to be up for a 180 day period at a time. But we are looking at two really good permanent supportive housing um, where we'll be able to um, put people in remodeled hotels, really let them live with dignity and get the wraparound services that they need. We're also working with the um, with Guilford County and High Point to look at a holistic approach countywide. Uh, of helping to solve that problem. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Um, so the next um, question is about annexation. They want to know if uh, Greensboro is going to annex the uh, Randolph County mega site with Toyota and all of that. No, so that is located in Randolph County. We, we cannot annex it. And the annexing rules are really pretty tight. Um, we will get a lot of revenue off that site because people will live here in Greensboro. They'll spend their money here in Greensboro. We ran the water and sewer out to the mega site, so there will be water and sewer revenue. Um, you know, this is a great project for our region, and this project would not have been possible had it not been for the city of Greensboro's water and sewer, but no, we can't annex them. Okay, so, and you just mentioned people living in the city of Greensboro, there was a reevaluation. Yes. And so all the homes went up in price. Yes. And so there is a deadline on the 15th for those who may need some help with that. Yes, and that was a program that was just started this year for people in lower income um, brackets who own their own home, who are having difficulty um, with that added um, property tax. Mm -hmm. So that reevaluation, so that's the income limit is 47,000 for a family. Um, and so you have to be able to put in some paperwork, some things of that yes. nature to be able to get this. And you can get a refund somewhere between 50 and $150, depending. And if you have any questions about how the paperwork is, you can just call city staff. Their contact number is on that and they are really easy to work with. And the 15th is the deadline. So you've got just a couple of more days. All right, um, so the next question is about how Guilford County residents can get information on new affordable housing projects? So we just, um, we announced a, um, an affordable housing project just last week. It'll be 84 units. It'll be um, one, two, and three bedrooms. Um, it is um, in Southeast Greensboro. We are very excited about this project. Um, I believe it's called Yanceville Place. So it depends if people are looking where they want to build and maybe get some tax credits or if they want to see what's available. If they want to know if the city has any tax credits, they would go through our neighborhood development department. If they want to see what's on the market, um, that's a, a broader question. And um, you know, they can certainly call the city of Greensboro or they can call some of our housing providers throughout the city. All right, we have one minute left. We have some new uh, space to be eating outside in the yes, downtown area. Yes, we do. Um, and it is such a beautiful day today. Wish they were all done. Um, downtown Greensboro, with support of the city of Greensboro, putting up new dining patios. So we're getting rid of those ugly Jersey barriers. And um, these are very attractive and spacious out, outside dining. We've talked about it for many years and it was accelerated because of the pandemic. And we wanted people to be able to um, increase the number of people that could be in their restaurant by adding that outdoor dining space. Mm -hmm. We love to walk down downtown it and is. see that outdoor dining space. All right, and the last text question that came in, and what, what is your favorite color? So I'm just gonna ask it. So my <laughs> favorite color is a royal blue. Um, it is kind of like a Duke blue. Um, I also like the lighter blue, which is a Carolina blue. So <laughs> you tread know, carefully there, I do. Right? Um, mm -hmm. I, I like all blues. <laughs> okay, there you go. For the person who asked that question, that is the favorite color. All right, um, Mayor Nancy Vaughn joining us for Ask the Mayor. Thank you so much for joining us. You can catch all of this if you missed any of it in the uh, WFMYNews2.com.